Hi guys, Chat here. In my last Narsaku family video from the series, I asked you guys which one of the kids you would want to see covered next, if Hanami or Arashi. You guys voted for Arashi because he's the least covered kid of the Narsaku family. So, as per your votes, here is the video on Arashi Uzumaki. And yeah, I've decided to work on some magic and get this video done by the 10th of this month. Did I do it? Hello, future me? Is this video out on the 10th or we didn't make it? Oh well, moving on. Why the 10th though? Because guess what? Fact number one that I will present to you is that Arashi Uzumaki is born on Kushina's birthday on July 10th. So, on July 10th we not only celebrate Arashi Uzumaki but his grandma Kushina too. And here is where fact number two comes up. Arashi is meant to be born on the date that Kushina is precisely because the Narusaku fandom want to bring a tribute to Kushina Uzumaki, the number one Narusaku supporter and the Uzumaki clan, the hero's descendants. We said that given this was Naruto's story, it is only normal for us to do that. But what are some of the other facts you should know about Urashi? Well, let's continue to count them. Fact number three that you should know about Urashi is that he doesn't like ramen or salty things that much. Yes, yes, a blasphemy, we know. But kids don't always have to follow into their parents' footsteps, right? Another thing you should know about him, which would count as fact number four, is that he's a shy boy. Out of all the siblings, he's the most sensitive one and thus shyness comes as a result. That's why he's mostly seen as the grumpy one most of the times. Curious about fact number five? Here it is. Arashi doesn't actually want to become a ninja. He's more like a scholar. He becomes interested in the Uzumaki sealing techniques precisely because he's not the ninja type. He's more the studious type. If anything, he's the sagi type, hermit. And boom, this is where fact number six comes in. In the inner circle of the Narsaku fandom creators, he's known as the Pokemon trainer. But why, you might ask? Let us tell you the secret. It's because he gets to sign a contract with many animals. However, his most recognized someone is a tiger. And with this, you have just learned fact number seven. Another thing you might want to know, which counts as fact number eight, is that he's the most attractive of the siblings and he could be the one having multiple fans girls. However, he's more the admire from afar type of person because, you know, his aura. It's that cool, good-looking and distant attitude combined that make the girls attracted to him. But given his loner, saggy kind of type, well, there doesn't seem to be any luck for them. So by the time he's in school, well, things calm down a bit. To describe him better, let's do an analogy. Credits to my friend Kira for this one. You know the concept of the sword, the shield and the staff? Well, if Shina might be considered the shield and Hanami the sword, though the roles can very much be reversed between these two. Arashi is always the staff, like Donald, the red mage from Kingdom Hearts 3. And that's what constitutes at fact number 9. But speaking of red, let me guide you to the fact number 10, the most important fact you should know about him, aka his name. The name comes from Jiraiya's Toad Scroll. Years ago, when Naruto ran and we got to the part of signing the contract with the Toads, when Jiraiya took out the scroll, people tried to read the name that came before Naruto's, which would have been Minato's, except the kanji used gave the impression that it said another name, aka Uzumaki Arashi. Granted, kanji scribbling wasn't the clearest one out there, but the name still remained. And so, when the fandom decided that the Narusaku family had to have another kid that would be a tribute to Naruto's heritage, it was decided then and there that his name should be Arashi Uzumaki. And thus, if we go by the translation, since Arashi is translated as Storm, he'd be known as the Red Storm. Hmm, could this count as fact number 11? Anyway, point is, Arashi's story is in a way watered down version of Shinachiku's story, in the sense that he's trying to find his own path too. But unlike the other siblings, he's not that clearly defined yet. These are some of the general facts surrounding the consensus the fans have made regarding his character. That's why I ask you, what do you think about Arashi until now? And even more so, if it were for you to decide some facts, what would you add to his character? I'm looking forward for your opinions in the comments down below. With this being said, I thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, I invite you to do all those things that people do that help a creator, aka thumbs up, subscribe and turn on the notifications. Because as I said in my channel introduction video, I cannot have a regular posting schedule. So the only way you can make sure you know about my latest video is if YouTube lets you know. Because we all know how it is with those algorithms, right? Anyway, I've rambled enough. Thank you once again and prepare for the next family member, the pink spark of the family, none other than Hanami Uzumaki herself. See ya!